Question 38. Beatrix wanted to find out which material is able to keep her hot Milo hot for a very long time. She used three identical cups and wrapped each one with a different material as shown below. So we have three different materials, paper, foil and bubble wrap. I want you to put a box around this part here, different materials. What do we learn about different materials and heat? We learn that different materials have different heat conductivities. So a material which is a better conductor of heat would allow heat to pass through it faster as compared to a poorer conductor of heat where it will allow heat to pass through it slower. Is that correct? So if we look at the three different materials here, okay, she poured the same amount of hot Milo into each cup. So the hot Milo is the heat source in this question and then she measured the temperature of the hot Milo in each cup using a thermometer. Temperature was measured every five minutes and recorded in the table as shown below. So let's look at the information in the table. If you look at the uh, information in the table, you will notice that for the paper, okay, after 20 minutes, the temperature is what? The temperature is the lowest. So if the temperature is the lowest, what does that mean? That means the heat from the hot Milo okay, in the cup that was wrapped with paper, the heat from the hot Milo was lost to the cooler surroundings at the fastest rate. If you notice, I use the word fastest instead of faster. What is the reason for that? Because in this question, we are comparing with three materials. If we were just comparing with two materials, I would use faster rate. Okay. Now, what is the other one? Bubble wrap. The bubble wrap, after 20 minutes, it was at 50 degrees Celsius. So what does this tell us? The temperature after 20 minutes, it was the highest. So this means that heat from the hot Milo in the cup that was wrapped with bubble wrap was lost to the cooler surroundings at the slowest rate. So based on the results, which material, paper, foil or bubble wrap will keep her Milo hot for the longest period of time? I would choose the bubble wrap. Okay, so with any choosing question, we must remember to use our CUE. C stands for choose. U means use the data, the evidence in the question. In this case, I will talk about the temperature of the Milo after 20 minutes. And then the last one is the explanation, which means that we must link it to the science concept. So I'm going to show you the answer. I'm going to use that for discussion. Okay, so I'm going to choose the bubble wrap. If you look at this using data, there are two ways that you can phrase it. One of it is that you say the temperature of the Milo after 20 minutes, it was the highest or you can also say the decrease in the temperature of the Milo in a cup with the bubble wrap was the smallest. So if there's the smallest decrease means that the least amount of heat was lost. Okay, so now we are going to explain using the science concept. So this shows that the bubble wrap is the porous conductor of heat and what does that mean? It would allow heat from the Milo to be lost to the cooler surrounding air the slowest and keep the hot Milo hot for the longest period of time. Okay, let us go on to part B of the question. For part B of the question, it says here that Beatrix repeated the experiment using a food wrap. The results are recorded. One of the readings is not correct. Circle it. So when we look at heat loss to the cooler surroundings, we expect that the temperature decreases. But if you notice, 70, 63, what is this? 25, and then it goes up to 45. It is possible for 63 to decrease to 25, but since there is no heat source, okay, or constant flame that provides more heat, how can the temperature of the Milo increase? It's not possible. So this is likely to be the error. Okay, so suggest a possible reason why the reading you have circled is not correct. The reason is because the temperature of the water, it cannot decrease and then increase to 45 degrees Celsius again. Okay, so that is for question 38. Thank you for watching this video. If you like my discussions, please hit on the subscribe button below. If you'd like to find out more about my analysis of other questions in this paper, please click on the videos on the right. So thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you in my next one.